why Randy Gratishar deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, first off, Thomas, it takes a village. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of people in a lot of different corners of Broncos country or, or even just, as you know, Hall of Fame aficionados, historians who believe this is something that needs to be corrected and that Randy needs to be in. Um, I would just tell you from a personal standpoint, taking away all my orange uh, and blue Bronco stuff, um, there's a lot of seniors, uh, those who were eligible for the Hall of Fame for 20 years after five years of their playing career was over. Um, there's a lot of those folks who are getting up there in years, in their 80s. Um, there have been posthumous Cliff Branch last year, Ken Riley this year, uh, Chuck Howley in, in bad health this year where he couldn't have the joy of attending with his family. And that's one of the reasons why I advocate on a big picture uh, with, with more than just the Broncos, but Randy Gratishar, I mean, I remember watching him. You just look for 53 and, and that's where everything was happening on the field. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but he's got the honors, right. he's got the accolades. Uh, if you, if you look at, um, what he's done, um, nine years of starting eight of those nine years. And that's like almost 90, like 89%, 90%. He was all pro, um, AP or sporting news. And yep. seven times Pro Bowl, but that's when you got elected by your peers. That's not <laughs> that's not like the tenth alternate or or people stuffing the ballot box to to do the fan vote or anything like that. That was when it really, really meant something. And so you had you had that. You also had defensive player of the year. Right. Von Miller, Champ Bailey, haven't done that. Randy Gradishar right. did. And and he finished third one year. 77, the Orange Crush year, the big Orange Crush year. And he and Lyle Alzado basically could have been co-MVP, co-defensive MVPs based on the votes. They had more votes combined than the, the first place finisher. He also got votes two other times. That's four out of nine. So, I mean, the guy has like incredible stats, incredible credibility, incredible accomplishments that are comparable or greater than guys who are in the Hall of Fame. So that's why he belongs. Um, the only thing that was a little bit of a, a you know, gray area was he played <laughs> only 10 years, <laughs> which was a big deal <laughs> right. to the selectors back then. They had less slots open for moderns. So I, I get that that happened. But with 2017, Kenny Easley, Terrell Davis, um, last year, uh, Tony Bazzelli, that that has been alleviated. It, so it's right. not just like Gale Sayers or someone along those lines getting in.